Hey, it's Justin Popovich here from toolsformotivation.com. And today I want to show you a cool little example of how to use private label rights content. That's the stuff we create here at Tools for Motivation. Private label rights, often called PLR. It just means that a company like ours has already written and designed and created the content. You can purchase a license, edit it, and then publish it as your own. So what I'm going to do here is show you an example of one of our products called Life Lessons You Should Learn Sooner. And it covers some you know, pretty powerful stuff that you could learn earlier in life and apply it so that you have a more successful life as things move forward. I'll just show you here. It's got some pre-written blog posts, pre-recorded audio, uh, done-for-you reports, some slide decks, some graphics, and some cover, some e-covers here. What, what the product looks like behind the scenes is like this, okay? So what I just showed you is organized into six folders. And uh, what I'm going to focus on for this little demo here is using the article content. So there are 10 articles or blog posts, either or you can kind of use them interchangeably. And uh, we have them in a few different formats. I'm going to focus on Word doc here. And then I'm going to use uh, canva.com. Okay, so if you've never used canva.com, which is unlikely, most people have at this point, but if you haven't, canva.com is a free tool, free to sign up. You can upgrade to a premium level if you want, but you don't need to. Even with the free version, you could do what I'm going to show you here today. And what I'm going to do is take some of the PLR content, pull out the, the lessons that I want to publish and share with my audience in this you know, random example here, and just show you what you could be doing in your world to engage with your audience using the done for you content. So uh, I'm going to start here. And, and what I did before I uh, hit the record button here was I browsed through the 10 articles that are included in this package. Again, life lessons you should learn sooner. Uh, you can kind of guess where this is going to go, but I'll just quickly show you what I did. Uh, I'm on the Mac here. So I just quickly previewed each one of the articles uh, that was written here. So the first one was about basic money skills. The next one was about failure, uh, gratitude, imagines results of failure are always worse than reality. So kind of overthinking failure. Uh, the younger you should have been taught, or sorry, the younger you should have been taught better habits. So habit formation, priorities, uh, problem solving and money. Uh, doing the same thing over and over, definition of insanity, learning how to change your habits or your actions. Uh, you can't control everything, but you can be in control of how you respond to life. Uh, you're not guaranteed another minute. That one's about present moment awareness. And that was it. So what I did was I took three articles out of there. Uh, I picked this one here. So the younger you should have been taught better habits. So I'm going to underline that habits was sort of the key theme in this article. Uh, priorities was the key theme in the second article I selected. So habit formation, priority selection, and then uh, you're not guaranteed another minute. So not, guar uh, not guaranteed another minute, i.e. living in the moment, in the present moment. So I thought those were three pretty cool lessons. And what I'm going to do here is just start using Canva to on the fly create a new document that I could publish as a free report. I could uh, publish it as uh, um, something that I sell or part of like a, an add-on to a paid product that I'm doing, or I could just have it as a PDF on standby for maybe mailing out to my list or whatever. Okay. Just think of it as a PDF that I might use in several different scenarios to either engage with my followers or get them onto a list or even just give them some free value and advice in other you know, times where I'm engaging with them. And what I'm going to do here in canva.com is use this uh, document creator. Okay, so you can create visual documents kind of on the fly with Canva. So in the current version of Canva that I'm on at the recording date of this video, I clicked on docs, and then you just click on start writing here for uh, these visual documents. What I really like about this tool in Canva is it gives you this little plus sign and you basically just pick and choose what you want to do as you fill in the document. So uh, what I'm going to do is sort of creatively build this document uh, spur of the moment. And I'm going to pull text out of the PLR, those three articles I've already opened, to create this sort of important lessons document uh, for my followers. So I'm going to start the document by putting a little graphic at the top. And I'm just, I'm going to call it uh, important life lessons just off the top of my head here. So let's pick a design here. I like this one and we'll call it, um, or power, or we'll just call it life lessons, life lessons. I'll, I'll shrink that text a bit. So it stays on one line and up here, I'll say powerful life lessons, 
by toolsformotivation.com. So I just designed that on the fly and then I click save and then what you'll see here is it pops that graphic right into my document. So well, that's kind of cool. So now what I want to do is create three different sections where I'm going to do a little blurb on each of those three topics. If you recall the articles, I talked about priorities, we talked about habits, and we talked about uh, present moment, living in the present moment. So uh, again, I would probably put a bit more time and consideration into the flow of this, but my point in this demo is just to show you how quickly you can pull content out of PLR packages and build something unique. So let's start with a little... Um, uh, let's start with an H1 heading here and we'll go over to my article and uh, let's pick this text here. Embrace all the beauty and positivity in the present moment. So we'll start with present moment awareness as the first part of our document here. And I'll paste that in. Now it doesn't preserve all the formatting so um, I'm going to, let's see, can I change this on the fly? I don't believe I can. So I can, I'll just change the font size here to 25. Okay, that's sort of my header for the section. I'm going to go down here and add some body text now. This is just going to be normal size text that explains in detail what I'm talking about here. So I haven't read this whole article. I probably would do that in a real example just because I'm dem demoing it to you here. I'm just going to pick something quick. So uh, I like this section here just at first glance. The things you've done in your past, even the past few seconds, can't be changed. Um, so it doesn't exist. Also, uh, future kind of conversations happening there as well. Uh, it's talking about owning it and experiencing the present moment with all your senses. So let's do, let's leave it at that. I'm going to grab all of this here. Again, I, I haven't looked at all of this in detail, but I just want a little blurb about present moment. So I'm going to put that in here. And you can see again, it didn't preserve all of the formatting. Look at like, for example, here, it put a, a new line return there, even though Let's see here. Yeah, there was just a comma in my document. So yeah, so for some reason, Canva doesn't preserve it. That's fine. I can see where things have bled over to the other line. So I'll just remove that space. I'll do it here as well. I'll kind of just clean things up a bit, getting rid of the extra spaces that happen to get pulled in. This is, this is reasonable. When you're, when you're going from one tool to another, you'll need to do this. So I'm just going to finish tidying it up here. Again, I'm doing this on the fly. This is not an exhaustive example. So here you can see, I'm starting to put together a document about powerful life lessons. Lesson number one is about the beauty of the present moment. Lesson number two, and we'll do another um, heading one here. Well, let's go, over to, um, let's go over to priorities. I like that one next. So have you written down your priorities in life? Again, I would probably do this a little bit uh, more extensive, but I'm just showing you this on the fly. I think we picked font 25 for that header last time. And now we're going to go into the section on priorities. So I'm going to enter another body text here, go over to my priorities article. And, um, okay, so let's just grab some text out of here as well. We're going to say, you know what you prioritize highly gets the most attention and so on and so forth. So I'm going to grab that piece of text and put it in here. And I'm going to grab one more piece of text from below that as well. I kind of like the angle that was going on. So we'll come down here as well, uh, talking about writing down your priorities. So you don't have to do this with a pen and paper. You can use a smartphone, computer, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to just grab this piece here. And that'll be enough for my priority section. Again, I would probably do this in more depth when I'm not demoing it to you on a video, <laughs> but you get the idea. So I'll leave it at that. And then finally, uh, I, I'm just going to clean this up here. There we go. And then finally, I would do the final section on habit formation, which right now I'm going to leave. I think you kind of get the idea here. I might even want to add more graphics in here as well. So I might insert a little uh, image here on the side that talks about present or that kind of visually shows the reader that I'm talking about the present moment. Could have somebody, you know, visualizing their future or doing a meditation. I could insert a little diagram of a checklist to, to kind of highlight priorities and so on. But again, Canva gives you lots of uh, different flavors and options here when you're building documents on the fly. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that and then just show you next here. I would just click share and then download this. Let's actually do it on the fly. I'm going to download it as a PDF. 
And I just uh, went off camera there uh, while I was doing it, but here's the PDF that it exported. So you can kind of see it coming into shape here. Uh, it exported this entire last page blank because my Canva document was left that way if you go down here and look. So you would want to make sure that you uh, kind of get a print view before you export it. But uh, again, you get the idea. Now, I also might want to include additional material here. So one thing that's kind of popping into my mind, if I were doing this for real and not just on a demo for you, at the end of each one of these sections, I might even include a little call to action right here. So I might insert, let's say, um, watch this video for more bold that and then actually link it out to a YouTube video or an Instagram video or wherever, where I go into more depth on present moment awareness. It could be a two minute talk where I just get on camera and I explain how I embrace the present moment every day, whether I do a mindfulness routine, maybe I do a meditation, maybe I journal little notes to myself and I just talk my readers through that. But then my document kind of acts as a branding tool where my audience is reading powerful lessons, then they're linking out to more of my in-depth content and kind of building this ecosystem of content to keep them engaged in the different lessons I have to share with them. My main point here is that if you combine done-for-you content like the PLR I showed you, in this case, life lessons you should learn sooner, with a tool like Canva, where there's already all kinds of cool templates and really all you need to do is insert text and build something unique, then at the end of the day, you can have tons and tons of really good engaging content that gets your subscribers, your readers, your potential customers, maybe even your existing customers on board and listening to your message. So I hope that little example helps you and gives you some good ideas. Uh, what I'd suggest you do next is grab some PLR content. If you're on our list at Tools for Motivation, we send free content out all the time. Or uh, you could even pick up some of our special offers where we give you a whole batch of content like I showed you today where you have maybe 10, 20 articles to work with and then start going into a tool like Canva and creating little you know, publishable pieces of material to grow your brand. You know, give yourself uh, half an hour a day to do one cool piece of content. At the end of a week, you'll have seven great pieces of content that you can repeatedly share out. You can mail it to your list. You can publish it to your social platforms and so on. So hope you like that example. Please do uh, let us know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Justin Popovich and Todd Payton in the building. A real thing.